back. All right. Sorry for the absence, but check this out. First of all, shout out to all the new subscribers. Yes. Appreciate everybody for watching. Thank you very much. Um, and Leo Legion, loyal commenters and subscribers, most definitely shout out to you guys. All right, let's get to it. Uh, we got a problem today. As you probably know, um, I mean, I wouldn't say a problem, but what is this? The car has 1,899 miles on it and it needs a service? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure this out at the same time. This is at the moment experience to figure out what the deuce, I got just an arrow in here. Sheesh. Hot in this joint. Cooled seats too. Anyway, all right, we're gonna turn that down so that's not blowing all in your ear. Okay, oh, don't worry. Hair days, bad hair days are a thing for me. Um, yes, they do get the best of me regularly. Uh, that rhymed, I told you. Mm. I told you, man, rap album coming soon. Got to be, that's good. All right, no, seriously. <sighs> let's figure this out. Okay, uh, let's figure out the details. Uh, maintenance, distance, 5,761 miles left, last service, 160 miles, zero day, what? Last service, zero days left, what is this? What is that for? I'm curious. Oh, it went away. All right, I gotta figure that out. That's, I don't even know, zero diff distance. The only thing that I could think of, it can't be oil change, because oil change is every 7,500 miles. Man, that's a tough one. Anyway, um, maybe we should go take a ride over to the dealership, damn. But what if they ask me to leave the car? Anyway, let's go take a look. Mm, what time is it? All right, we're gonna go over to the dealership. We're gonna ask some questions just to take a ride, I guess. Let's do it, why not? Real quick, I'm just gonna make the announcement right now. If you have anything to say about me, let it be about my hair, for sure, for sure. But anyway, on a real tip, um, yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this stuff. This is crazy. It's long, it's, it's long. It's like down here, it's crazy. But damn, I'm like really, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just so quizzical as to what in the world could a service at 2,000 miles or 1,900 miles be? I mean, when I do drive the car, I enjoy it, all right? I enjoy the car. I drive in sport mode a lot uh, or sport plus mode a lot. I'm in comfort right now. Actually, I'm going to go down into eco. You know what? Let's just take it easy. Let's take it easy, man. What is that? Oh, vehicle pulling away. It's not. But yeah, this is uh this is interesting. I'm I'm like flabbergasted. I take that back. I changed my mind. I'm going to read us. I'm just gonna call him. I'm like, I'm not in the mood. I tried to find it in the system again to see what is the service or whatever. But I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna go grab some lovely readers, enjoy my readers, and then go to work. I wonder if the service at all have anything to do with uh, the fact that I don't drive this car on a consistent basis. Like, I'll have the car, I'll drive it, I don't know, uh, 20, 100 miles or whatever, and then it sits for two, three days at a time. And this is actually my first time driving the car and having it out for seven days. The last time I drove this car was on Labor Day. I've been... Uh, thoroughly enjoying the Genesis Coupe at the moment so I don't know we'll see what happens I've got my uh, ice packs enabled which is uh, my cold word for cooled seats because that's exactly what it feels like it feels like you got ice packs on your butt cheeks and your thighs and your back and it feels like it's air blowing out of it too it's like a, it's a real weird sensation but hey uh, I guess it's a good one and I can't even, uh, on another note, I can't even call the dealership because uh, I don't have my phone on me. So, I don't know. But anyway, let's see if we got uh, we, if we got ourselves a lucky day. See if we can get Pina Colada over here at Rita's. Because uh, I haven't had Pina Colada in a while. Actually, it might actually be borderline sinful that I actually haven't had Rita's in about a week. Can you believe that? 
Man, I just realized readers doesn't even open until two o'clock. They change their hours. Got to be more careful. Mm, 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 mm. Well, let's see if we can find another one. And uh, let me actually call a dealership and see what they say and get back to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this readers is closed as well. So, I guess we must get to the crux of the video. Let me turn that down. Sorry about that. I guess we must get to the crux of the video and um, actually just go home and grab my phone and figure out what the, like, what the deuce? What is this service? Like, this is crazy. And I tried looking everywhere in here to see if I can maybe find out what it is. And I can't find anything. Even in vehicle, driver assist, drive mode, heads up cluster, climate seat, lighting door, digital key, convenience. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where you would find this. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Hold on. Let's go back. Yeah, valet HD radio. Let's see, media phone, major setup. I even looked in setup. Well, setup was where I was, right? Let's go over here. Connected services. Oh, wait, oh. User manual? Nope. Notifications? Nope. Connected services. Vehicle diagnostics. Uh-oh, here we go. I guess this is the crux of the... Oh, no issues found. Maintenance. Oh, here it is. So this says distance to maintenance, 5,750 miles. Zero days left, 160 miles out of 7,600. This is crazy. I don't even understand what this is. Maybe I'm missing something. This doesn't specify anything. I know this is oil change. I know this for a fact, but I'm not sure what this is. Air filter, um, cabin filter, definitely not tires. I mean, come on now. But all right, let me call the dealership and let me see and get right back to you. Thanks for calling Burn Service. This is Trish speaking. Can I help you? How you doing? I'm calling because uh, my car has a uh, uh, message for service. So I'm just trying to figure out what that service is and whether I okay. may need to schedule a drop off. What kind of a uh, car do you have? 2022 Genesis G70. One moment. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to get my, my Genesis concierge for you, but um, she's not picking up the phone right now. Um, have you gotten it serviced yet or is this going to be like your first service? Uh, I don't even know what the service is. It, it's got 1,911 miles on it, so I don't know what it would probably need at this mileage. Uh, when did you buy it? Uh, I think it was June. Yeah, yeah. June, June, okay. I'm not June sure 5th. Why you're getting notifications then? Because I don't, I don't think you're due for anything just yet. Um, all right, let me see if I can get a hold of Steve. He did, he does Genesis as well. Give me one second. You gotta change this music. This is crazy. This is crazy. That music is bad. Hey, thanks so much for holding. Um, I did get a hold of Steve. Um, so he said that they probably just didn't reset the, the service for you. So um, he said if you wanted to stop in, they can just reset it for you, but you're not due for anything yet, he said. Okay. No, because when I went into the... Um, when you go into the... Um, what is it called? The system on the on the uh, huh the maintenance the maintenance section on the uh, infotainment and the maintenance and the maintenance uh -huh. section on the infotainment it says uh, maintenance it's got one at the top that says distance uh, fifty seven forty nine left but it says days zero days left so I'm guessing that's just like your I don't know yeah the, the 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 timer I'm, I'm guessing that the it just was never reset for you when you bought the car mm. um so i mean he said that in the owner's manual it shows he had to reset it um but if um if you have issues with it he said he can just stop it and they can reset it for you 
Um, it doesn't take long, he said. Okay, but he said I don't need anything right now, right? Yeah, you're not due for, for service yet, no. All right, cool. That's fine. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. That was weird. I know you. I'm not. I know I'm not the only one. I'm assuming that this is basically I don't know every three month oil you change, but that kind of doesn't make sense either because oil you changes on many on many of these new cars is every 7,500 miles and not 2,500 or 3,000 miles. Like my Genesis Coupe is every 30 2,750 miles is an oil you change. Uh, that's a little bit of a different car. That's a lot of bit of a different engine rather, not necessarily a different car. But either way, um, enough of the buffoonery. Let's get this Reedus. All right, let's try this one more time. Reedus, yes. And they are finally open, as you can see that sign, yes. All right, um, let's just call it what it is. Uh, nothing's going on. No, it's not clickbait, but I did get the message. The warning was there, you saw it yourselves. They said it's nothing, I'm gonna take it as nothing, whatever the case may be, and I'm gonna enjoy my readers. Now, upcoming videos. All right, number one, this weekend, I think I'm gonna vlog my skydiving trip. I think I'm gonna do that. Then number two, yo, I gotta try and get, I, I gotta try and catch up with Kurgami because, shout out to Kurgami. Um, if you're not subscribed to his channel, he got the Acura TLX Type S uh, 2021. So I got to link up with him because I need to get my Genesis Coupe lined up next to the TLX Type S. And I also got to get my cousin down here uh, so that I can get the G70 lined up to the Genesis Coupe as well. Hmm. Oh, I got to listen. I think I might actually be considering that exhaust, by the way, too. But that's for another video. Anyway, I'm Sha. Appreciate everybody for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video because... I can't wait any longer for readers. It's been way too long and they're almost gone for the season. They had the mediocre flavors on deck today, so, ah, whatever.